When someone mentions different dimensions, we tend to think of things like parallel universe, alternate realities that exist parallel to our own, but where things work or happen differently. However, the reality of dimensions and how they play a role in ordering of our universe is really quite different from its popular characterization. To break it down, dimensions are simply the different facets of what we perceive to be reality. We are immediately aware of the three dimensions that surround us on daily basis. Those define the length, width, and depth of all objects in our universe. Beyond these three visible dimensions, scientists believe that there may be many more. In fact, the theoretical framework of superstring theory posits that the universe exists in 10 different dimensions. These different aspects are what govern the universe, the fundamental force of nature and all elementary particles contained within. The first dimension, as already noted, is that which gives its length. A good description of a one-dimensional object is a straight line which exists only in terms of length and has no other discernible qualities. Add to it a second dimension, the y-axis, and you get an object that becomes a second dimensional shape. The third dimension involves depth and gives all objects a sense of area and a cross section. The perfect example of this is a cube which exists in three dimensions and has length, width and depth. Beyond these three lies the seven dimensions which are not immediately apparent to us but which can be still pursued as having a direct effect on universe and the reality as we know it. Scientists believe that the fourth dimension is time which governs the properties of all known matter at any given point. Along with the three other dimensions, knowing an object's position in time is essential to plotting its position in the universe. The other dimensions are where the deeper possibilities come into play and explaining their interaction with others is where things get particularly tricky for physics. According to superstring theory, the fifth and the sixth dimensions are where the notion of possible worlds arise. If we could see on through to the fifth dimension, we would see a world slightly different from our own that would give us a means of measuring the similarity and the difference between our world and other possible ones. In the sixth, we would see a plane of possible worlds where we could compare and position all the possible universes that start with the same initial conditions as this one. In the theory, if you could master the fifth and sixth dimension, you could travel back in time or go to different futures. In the seventh dimension, you can have access to the possible worlds that start with different initial conditions whereas in the fifth and sixth the initial conditions were the same as subsequent actions where here everything is different from very beginning of time the eighth dimension again gives us a plane of such possible universe histories each of which begins with different initial conditions and branches out infinitely hence why they are called infinities. In the ninth dimension, we can compare all possible universe histories, starting with all different possible laws of physics and initial conditions. In the tenth and final dimension, we arrive at a point in which everything possible and imaginable is covered. Beyond this, nothing can be imagined by us lowly mortals which makes it the natural limitation of what we can conceive in terms of dimension. The existence of these additional six dimensions which we cannot perceive is necessarily for string theory in order for there to be consistency in nature. The fact that we can perceive only four dimensions of space can be explained by one or two mechanisms. Either the extra dimensions are compactified on a very small scale or else our world may be lived live on three-dimensional sub-manifold corresponding to a brain on which all known particles beside gravity would be restricted which is also called the brain theory if the extra dimensions are compactified then the extra six dimensions must be in the form of Kellaby. while impossible as far as our senses are concerned 
they would have governed the formation of the universe from very beginning hence why scientists believe that peering back through time using telescopes to spot lights from early universe they might be able to see how the existence of these additional dimensions could have influenced the evolution of cosmos much like other candidates for a grand unifying theory theory of everything the belief that the universe is made of 10 dimensions is an attempt to reconcile the standard mode of particle physics with the existence of gravity in short it is an attempt to explain how all known forces within our universe interact and how other possible universes themselves might work